Hello guys, recently on Twitter I shared a new package Laravel Activity Log UI. This is not filament, but in one of the replies, Jigal suggested it to be a filament plugin. And the original tweet got so much traction and attention that I went searching, is there really no filament plugin for that? And I found a few plugins on top of Spotty Activity Log popular package. One of them is from Dennis, core team member, but those plugins are mostly for viewing the activity of a specific record. What about the table? What if you want to view all activities in one table and then filter by some subjects or something like that? And this is exactly what that non-filament package does, and I will link that tweet in the description below if you want to check that out. But I tried to build something like that for filament. At first, maybe I thought it would be a package, but then stopped thinking, wait a minute, does it have to be a package? It could be a simple page with a table. And this is exactly what I built, and I will show you the code in this video. Activity log table on top of existing filament project. I took a repair salon CRM from our filament examples, so there are orders, customers, and users, and faked some data, seeded some data, and activity log table would show you the events, when user is logged in, when new order is created, when order status is changed, and the properties are in JSON, and you can view them in a raw way as they are from the database because they are unpredictable and very dynamic. And also there's a filter with subject type, for example, order, role, or user, or you can filter, for example, Sarah Johnson, I think there are records with that, and yeah, filter by causer who caused that activity. In the database, that database table looks like this. It's logged by activity log package. This is a separate topic outside of filament. So to view that table, basically you don't need a plugin. So let me show you the code of that custom page. And maybe in the comments we can discuss. If you want some more functionality or something unique or something extra, maybe I will turn it into a package. But then having a package has a downside that then you rely on a package. For example, if filament 5 comes out, then I need to update that package. And also that package needs to be flexible for all the use cases. And in case of activity log, there may be actually a lot of different use cases, a lot of different events there will be a lot of different ways how people log the events with the events who is the causer what is the subject what are the properties so it's very hard to think about all possible cases in a package but let's see the code for now so here's a custom page of filament in app filament pages activity log you can just generate it with php artisan make filament page and inside you should have interacts with table has table and then you have table inside nothing really fancy then that table has the main query, which comes from the package model. That package, Spotty Activity Log, comes with the model activity. I just put a label here to not mess with activity something else. And then I load causer and subject to avoid n plus one query problem. And then for columns, you may choose whichever you want and whichever formats, for example, you want. Part of that code is generated by AI, by the way. I'm not ashamed to do that. This is kind of a collaboration. So first prompt, then I do manual coding, then another prompt to improve something. And this is the final result, at least for now. So for the event, we have badge with colors, then subject name. This is interesting. So by default in the database, subject type and subject ID is just ID. So there's no name for subject, but you may want to parse it. For example, to show subject name. And in this case, if there is a subject name, then I do show that. But also I figure out maybe it could be configurable on a model level. So record subject, in some of the cases, it's an order model. And in the model, we can, for example, add something like this. So order number is the field name from the database, which comes from here, order number, same order numbers. So yeah, Faker didn't randomize much, but it doesn't really matter in this case. So we have subject ID, but from that subject, if there is a property of activity subject name, then we take the value of that specific attribute from the related model. And by the way, the full source of that custom page will be available. I will put the link in the description below for free, no membership required. And let's see a few more things in that table. So another text column, causer name, 
also causer is typically a user and typically user has a name so you may check for that but some events don't have a causer as a user that's why you can return system for example so for each column basically that's why i stopped with the idea of the package because this part is so so individual so i'm not sure if the package would even work for many cases and would not break the full table then for description you may choose for example to show first 50 characters with tooltip and then for filters in this case i'm showing subject types from only available ones so this may be optimized to maybe not do a database query similar here causer id only from the users who have at least one logged entry with causer id and when you choose the option then you have query where causer type and causer id so this is what covers those two filters and probably final thing is record actions instead of viewing properties in the table and they may be huge actually in the database i can show you that so properties may be just email and phone for the logged in user but maybe for other cases there may be more attributes so you can see that on the right side probably and yeah there is no guarantee for that structure to be short or long or even structured properly at all so that's why custom action in the model and the content of that model is just html string you can color it if you want and then we json decode that and return that html string so that part was mostly done by ai and again this is the part that you can customize quite a lot try to parse something try to view it as a table instead of just json this is your personal preference and finally default sort and pagination only by 100 because i assume there will be a lot of activities so yeah that's kind of it a simple table in a custom page and the whole magic is in how you parse and how you show specific causer subject and properties and as i mentioned i published the full source code as a tutorial free tutorial on our filamentexamples.com so you can copy and paste the code from here the full source code is this on the page and yeah from this description what do you guys think would that need a package or what you maybe change if you wanted to view that table from activity logs from spotty package let's discuss all of that in the comments below that's it for this time and see you guys in other videos